you're out there, you're riding, you're having a good time and uh, taking in the, the outdoors. The fight isn't over. What's going on guys? This is Carl with the Racer Red Channel. Out here riding the Owyhee mountain range and my camera got busted. The lens on it. It's the first time I've seen one of these get broken. Usually these Sonys are really durable. But I was riding behind my buddy going pretty fast here and I think he threw a rock up at me. But usually this camera can take those so that's kind of surprising. run. The race is this weekend so we wanted to hit some deserty stuff at high speed. Riding with my buddy who is also on a KTM 450. I had to stay back and work on my camera a little bit to get it going so luckily this tracks are easy to follow right now because there's so much moisture in the soil. Yeah, I'm good. I had to mess with my camera. On the way over here, I was listening to a guy talk about uh, Bob Lazar. And for those of you who don't know who he is, he's like this really smart scientist guy that worked in an area close to Area 51 called S2. And he was talking about aliens and and uh, UFOs, unidentified freaking orbs. But uh, it's very, very interesting to listen to people like that talk because they could be totally full of crap, but if they are, then they're really good at storytelling. My personal belief is that it's our technology and we just don't want to admit it because we're using nuclear powered aircraft and one of the topics they brought up was how um, there are documents stating that you can't get too close to these aircraft because they have a negative effect on the human body and I'm like, okay, yeah, that makes sense, that tracks, because they're nuclear, and they're putting off radiation. And the anti-gravity aspect of it, I have no idea how they would do that. But I'm sure element 115 is used, and that's something that Bob Lazar came out and talked about. So... Like, whether you think it's a bunch of BS or not, it's definitely a thing that's worth um, watching, getting his viewpoint on it. And then the one I was listening to today was Joe Rogan talking to some reporter who did a bunch of research on Bob Lazar and, and the circumstances surrounding it. So... I thought it was really interesting, just the things that really make sense that it would be nuclear power. And the fact that everybody sees lights. Are you okay? Yeah. Stupid rocks. <laughs> I was like, your helmet's bent. I was hoping you didn't whack your head that hard. No. I saw this big rock here, I was like, I hope you didn't hit that. I forget where I was, but anyways, I definitely think that we're using nuclear powered stuff, but I don't understand why there would be lights 
on these unidentified freaking orbs because if you have the technology to make something that epic that's anti-gravity like yeah it would be hard to hide a nuclear power source the heat signature that puts off but seems like you should be able to do it if you're able to make a aircraft like that so why people are seeing lights I don't really know because if they wanted to be hidden seems like they would definitely be hidden but anyways we are on the most epic unidentified friggin orb we've ever seen right now we're on planet Earth, which is a weird thing to think about as well because of our magnetic field and they have no idea how that works, whether it comes from the center and they have no idea, like things are taught as fact and then later on they figure out it's way different, like they used to think there was only two points, but now there's thinking there's a lot more than two points for the magnetic field. So, that's really weird. But we're shooting through space several times the speed of a bullet. Like, it's so weird because our perspective is like we're totally still. But right now we're shooting through space the several times the speed of a bullet and we're spinning around in circles faster than a bullet I mean that's crazy to think about alien story or extraterrestrial unexplained phenomena I want to hear it whether it was a weird orb or a little gray man or Bigfoot any of that stuff I want to hear it me personally the weirdest things I've seen have been in the sky I've seen uh, what I thought were satellites, but then they would stop, and then other little lights would surround them. And who knows what that would have been, but that was a long time ago, before like Starlink and all that. So that's about it for me. I don't really have any alien stories, but I'm really curious as to uh, what what experiences you guys have had. And I know plenty of people who have had weird experiences, mostly with lights. I know one guy who had a light uh, go straight through the woods, under trees, on the, the mountain next to him while he was camping and hunting. And it went straight through the trees on the mountain next to him, all the way close to his camp. Disappeared right at his camp. That's pretty weird and spooky sounds like it could be what's called uh, well there's something that happens with lightning and uh, I, I, I can't remember what it's called now but it's basically an event a lightning event where it creates a ball of lightning 
It's very uncommon, but it does happen. I don't know if that could be it or not, but just saying that does happen. It seems like Occam's razor is usually the way to go on a lot of this stuff. Uh, the most the most common thing, the most boring thing that could happen is probably the correct thing that did happen. Hey, big surprise. California is saying they're not going to have enough power this year. That's oh, weird. Shocking. Isn't that? That's weird. That is weird. With all these le electric cars and everything. That's be like, bizarre. They should be like having their, tons of electricity. Their infrastructure already can't handle um, all their electricity just for their houses, much less to charge cars. <laughs> to, yeah, to charge your car. Every single day. Your power bill. Yeah. Oh. California is... Oh, holy smokes. Well, unfortunately, those people are all brainwashed to the point where they come here with the same idea. So the state may fail, but then all the people will come here like they already are in Max Exodus. Right. And they come here with the same mentality. Yeah. Same mentality. Same. Let's preserve the earth. we got to have this big pile of dirt untouched with all the vegetation growing on it. We can't touch it can't, with our nasty gonna human hands. It's going to hurt. It's going to erode everything away. Erosion. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the next video. Peace.